Alright, so if you watched any of my content, you may have noticed that I am Jamaican, right? So I've done a lot of different kind of stuff. Um, if you type, if you go to my channel, right, and you type in Jamaican, I see a or Jamaican. You will see a lot of videos come up regarding stuff I've done around Jamaican content. So, um, yeah. I'm, Pretty much, in a sense, pro Jamaican or pro, pro Caribbean in that sense. So I'll try it as best as possible. If I, if I can do something related to Jamaican content that's not the typical, I will, you know. Um, so I've done a lot of different stuff, right? When I say a lot. from one of my videos one of my stories that I've created around a Jamaican chef that's kind of obsessed with vegetables specifically cabbages um, but that's not what this video is about here today I may glance back at that but why I'm making this video is I want to show some of the Jamaican stories that I've created up to now to kind of give you an idea of you know what's kind of possible with Jamaican stories. So I've created this one, which is Locks of Power, the rise of Rastafarian vigilantes. So it's pretty much all right. Let me just show you better than I can kind of explain it. So what it pretty much is is this one. It pretty much is what it says so we have rastafarian vigilantes in a unfair world and they're pretty much the ones trying to save uh, jamaica right so if you look at the description here it says docs of justice rise of rastafarian vigilantes is a thrilling story that takes place in jamaica where a group of rastafarians discover that their locks possess incredible power as they become aware of their unique abilities they form a secret society of vigilantes dedicated to protecting the people of Jamaica from real threats. As they embark on their mission, the Rastafarian heroes face numerous challenges, including corrupt police officers, powerful criminal organizations, and their own internal conflicts. But with their faith, in each other and the power in their locks they forge ahead determined to make a difference in their community so yeah it goes into you know more details but yeah um, so you get the idea so that's just one of them um so most of these stories are kind of unfinished but it's kind of want to give you like a general idea of going over a lot of the stuff that i've kind of created so there's another one here nobody's ever viewed this one so you can go ahead and look it up so this one is roots and remedies uh jamaican herbalist quest uh for healing okay so this one's details so it follows the inspiring journey of malik a young jamaican herbalist who seeks to revive the traditional healing methods of his ancestors to prove their effectiveness in the modern world against the against the backdrop of a society increasingly reliant on modern medicine malik faces opposition and skepticism from doctors and pharmaceutical companies who see him as a threat but with his deep knowledge of plants and herbs and his unwavering determination malik sets out on a path of discovery using his heal skills to heal those in need and gain a following of loyal supporters along the way from the lush hills of rural jamaica to the bustling city of cities of the world malik's story is one of hope courage and the enduring power of traditional healing in a rapid healing practices in a rapidly changing world so yeah that's another one um, so pretty much this one focuses on uh, grappling with traditionalism in a 
modern world, especially where a lot of Jamaicans are moving away from the traditional ways of uh, not just doing how we t- how we used to do things, but in like healing and stuff. So this one goes into that concept, right? And uh, kind of, you know, that's uh, that's w- another one. Okay, and let's see here. All right, so there's also this one, uh, Locks of Power, Rastafarian Isekai Adventure. So what this one is. It's, as it says, you know, it's a isekai adventure, but it more goes into um, the concept of a Rastafarian world. So, um, why I felt inspired to do this one? This one was after there was another flare up of controversy around Rastafarian children uh, being allowed in Jamaican schools. So, that's been an ongoing debate that's been going on from before my time till now so i it, it it gave me the inspiration to create a story um that goes into a whole civilization of rastafarian culture right that kind of lends itself to um, sorry there chucks chucks passing but it, it it pretty much goes into uh, a lot of the core ideals and ideas in uh, Rastafarianism and kind of brings them into its own kind of world um, and kind of has like powers kind of wrapped into it also. So it's a story of understanding of oneself. <laughs> it's a very loud place, sorry. So it's a sort of understanding of oneself, but let's just kind of go into the description here. So Jamari, a young Jamaican Rastafarian, is transported to a world ruled by powerful tribes of Rastafarians. Here, each po- each person's locks represents their power and influence, different styles signifying membership in unique tribes possessing their own superpower. All right, so the thing about locks, you have different styles that typically exist. You have different ways of approaching. You have Bantu. You have uh, you know several different ways. Um, you have the ones that don't uh, like they don't they are the free form locks right they have, you have several different ways of you know approaching the hairstyle so I kind of took that and you know you have a bit of a mix of this Saiyan element where you know that um, with Goku you know is uh, when you see it changes it gives different powers or different power levels so we play into that uh, but let's move on here so Jamari soon learns that uh, this new world is not without its challenges. The Babylonians, a group seeking to dominate the Rastafarians, are a constant threat. Um, with his newfound power, powers and determination to defend his people, Jamari embarks on a journey filled with adventure. No! <laughs> Sorry, cool uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. All right, so Jamari embarks on a journey filled with adventure, danger, and self-discovery. Will he be able to find his place in this strange world and protect his people from their enemies? All right, so with this one, I actually even created a whole trailer on this one. So let me see if I can find it. Uh, let me see. Uh, S-E-K... Uh, let's see if it shows up. Ah, here it is. Okay, so yeah, comic around this series. So, um, yeah, but let's let's watch the trailer here. Okay. Okay. In the heart of Jamaica, where culture and spirit intertwine. A controversy sparks a journey of discovery. On a night like any other, destiny beckons. He steps into a realm where dreams meet reality. A journey of self-discovery begins. But as darkness looms, the battle for identity and power ignites. As alliances are tested and secrets are uncovered, the ultimate clash of ideologies. In the heart of the storm, destiny is embraced. Experience the magic, the battles, and the strength in locks of power. Rasta Chronicles, coming soon, maybe. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> right, give me a second here. 
all right so what this is so the name is a bit different um so i call it lots of power Rasta chronicles uh but it's the same story and yeah so so that's one also um and i even created like a comic around it also ah can i find the comic now though all right let me give me a second let's fucking find it uh i don't i can find the comic now but i did like do videos on different aspects oh well here, well, here it is okay here it is all right <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I just hope that it doesn't get copyright struck because of the sounding, but uh, yeah, you get the gist. So yeah, I, you know, so that's another one. Um, so yeah, uh, it's only like one chapter though, but you know, you get general gist of that. Um, so another one. So I'm pretty much just kind of showcasing like other stuff. Um, uh, yeah. Um, not that you have to read any of it. It's just the video because I've really been making any videos that you know show off a lot of the stuff I've kind of created uh, beyond the typical, right? So all right. So here's here's another one. So this one is Musical Heroes, The Dance of Adventures, Advent, Advent, Adventures, sorry, Dance of Avengers. <laughs> all right, so this one, um, all right, so recently, uh, or where I really made this one, there was this thing about uh, this saying that dance hall, the capital, uh, Jamaica was always the capital of dance hall, you know, because this is where it originated, but, uh, why I created a story, there was talk about Jamaica no longer being the capital of dancehall, like a European country had become that new place. So it inspired me to create this whole kind of dancehall related thing where um, they had to pretty much be fighting against uh, different organizations, uh, different sects. Uh, or groups, S E C T S. I think that's how you spell it. But it has been fighting against different groups um, to really like reclaim the position of what dancehall was, right? So um, the description: musical heroes, the dancehall, the dancehall adventure, adventures follows the story, the journey of a new generation of musical prodigies brought together by the musical academy, a prestigious institution that trains young musicians in the art of performance songwriting and production led by dancehall legends uh, bounty killer elephant man vibes cartel despite being locked up so this was before he you know got released <laughs> so yeah so yeah yeah so um so this one um yeah so it yeah so these aspiring heroes must prove themselves through a series of auditions, challenges, and clashes, as they learn to harness the power of music to change the world with old rivalries, new alliances, unexpected threats, and thriving musical showdowns, this volume is a high-stakes adventure that keeps the reader on the edge of their seats as the heroes work to master their craft and overcome their differences uh, they discover the true meaning of teamwork friendship and the transformative power of music uh, but when the final clashes well the final well when the final clash arrives will they be ready to face their greatest challenge yet and emerge as true mu musical heroes so yeah um so that's another one right um so yeah i try to take like ideas of like real world concepts and try to if i don't if i like i'm able to like expand upon them i do or if i'm tr if i'm able to um take a, maybe a unique twist and kind of go laser focused. I will also do that sometimes. All right, so there's also this one, which is the Jamaican Legends Unleashed Artifacts of the Heroes. Uh, so this one, um, so Jamaica has several seven national heroes, and this one goes into 
the concept of uh, something similar to how relics work in um, Fate, the Fate series, um, summoning like champions and stuff like that. So take that kind of idea, but expound on it in a Jamaican context. Um, so it pretty much follows the story of uh, um, a group of kids that discover the relics that were left behind by these national heroes uh, goes into how they really died or you know in air quotes how they really died um how the heroes really died and uh tries to you know create a whole superhero-esque uh, franchise around jamaican heroes and um tries to um, bring some new takes on the historical context of Jamaica's national heroes, in a sense. So let's just look at the description here briefly. Um, so in the heart of Jamaica, there lies a museum housing the artifacts of the nation's greatest heroes. Little did anyone know these artifacts hold immense power, waiting to be unlocked by those who have the courage and conviction to wield them. When a group of teenagers stumbles upon the museum on a school trip in 2004. Alright, so why uh, this 2004 here is a significant year in Jamaican history. If you know, you know. If not, go and read the story. You may pick up on why I chose that year specifically. They unwittingly trigger a chain of events that will put their very lives, that will put their lives and their fate and the fate of their country at stake. With an enigmatic and dangerous feeling hunting them down. They must band together with the spirits of the Jamaica's past to stop them before it's too late. It's the story of heroism, legacy, and the power of believing in oneself. So yeah, um, that's another one. So this one actually have like two parts, like two different parts to the story. Um, so it's this one and there's another one here somewhere also but yeah there's two parts to that one the battery's dying but all right let me just kind of briefly show another tool here so there's this one the uh, jamaican mermaid secret of the trident and there's also the J sky express the jamaica's jamaican driver's journey through the multiverse so this one if you know if you know um, anime there's truck so this one kind of goes into that story um but it takes a different take on it so this is basically a jamaican taxi driver that becomes the driver of bus gun and eventually truck gun but uh yeah he pretty much is one the one that takes the isekai people across the multiverse to their new adventures or the new stories that are going to be a part of and along the way you know kind of tell a story within that space uh but yeah uh let's uh end the video here before my battery completely dies and i lose the video so uh, i guess that's it for now i, I suppose <laughs> sorry if i bored you with all this rambling uh, but yeah that's kind of how my brain kind of works in a sense if you want to like make a video going deeper into each story i can but for now at least you you know are aware of you know some of the stuff and they're all found on the uh Azari Prince stories. Uh, Azari Prince stories. Wattpad page. That's the name of it. Azari underscore Prince underscore stories. Yep, that's it. Um, there are a couple I haven't even released yet, but <laughs> uh, yeah, there's like Zombie School. That's another story. Uh, there's Only Fan. There's uh, Crazy Win. Legend of Crazy Win. Tales from the Jamaican porch there's moon sick night blind there's metal d from the battlefield there's uh another jamaican one here whispers and fabric a cookie ting legacy um yeah so there's a lot there's uh this one is another one um rum rumica rhythms a rum heads path to drunken mastery uh there's this one eerie algorithms there's this one which is uh li living impact a conscious crash test dummy um yeah so oh so all these are 
um pretty much ai stories um so it's just i have ideas so i can use ai to kind of bring them to life in a sense so a lot of these are let's say i use the ai to kind of shape them in the way i want it to be um but yeah uh let me know if you want to be, like, like go deeper into like any of these or or not <laughs> all right so that's it for a bunch of guys all right later